hi friends uh, today we will be talking about the valve uh, timing diagram so if you are interested with automobiles the working of an engine if you want to know about how the engine operates when the valves the inlet valve next exhaust valve open and closes you should uh, pay attention to uh, this part so let's see now how it works um this is a uh, valve timing diagram drawn over here. This shows the rotation of the crankshaft and then when and where the inlet and exhaust valve closes and opens. Here we have uh, drawn the cylinder and this is the piston. Top dead center and bottom dead center is marked over here. Uh, so I'll explain the valve timing diagram. So this is uh, the practical concept or the practically how and when and where uh, the inlet and exhaust valve closes and opens. So before going into this, you should know the theoretical concept. According to the theoretical concept, the inlet valve opens when the piston is is a top dead center and um, closes when the piston is at bottom dead center and exhaust valve opens the uh, when the piston is at bottom dead center and remains open till it reaches the top dead center where uh, it must close uh, this is the theoretical concept but practically it varies because uh, the valves cannot um, instantaneously close or open and due to the inertia of the movement of the piston and also the air fuel mixer has its own inertia so this uh, period as i explained in the uh, theoretical concept varies so let's see practically how it happens um, the crankshaft is rot rotating in clockwise direction that is how this arrow is shown so let's see when does the inlet valve opens inlet valve opens a uh, five degree uh, before top dead center that means uh, before the piston reaching the top dead center five degree before the crankshaft rotation where it reaches the top dead center the inlet valve opens so as it opens five degree before there is a lead for the opening of inlet valve opening so it is called the valve lead that five degree is called the valve lead and when the inlet valve closes you can see that the inlet valve closes 45 degree after the bottom dead center so after the bottom dead center the piston will tend to move upwards at that point only uh, the inlet valve closes so after the bottom dead center again the crankshaft rotates to about 45 degree and uh, the inlet valve closes so uh, that's the point where inlet valve closes and it is called the valve lag before because it's after a lag only after the 45 degree lag only this inlet valve is closing so that is called the valve lag period uh, let's see where the exhaust valve closes. Uh, the exhaust valve uh, closes 5 degree after the TDC and it opens uh, about 50 degree before BDC. You can see that before bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens 50 degree before the bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens and it closes about a 5 degree after the uh, top dead center. Here you can see the piston movement. This is the top dead center and the bottom dead center. The rotation of the crankshaft. Uh, results in the movement of uh, this piston so these degrees are represent at uh, the rotation of the crankshaft at which point it reaches a uh, top dead center and the point where it uh, reaches bottom dead center you can see that at some point both the inlet valve and exhaust valve will be in open position and uh, that point is called the valve overlap period during the valve overlap period both the pistons uh, both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve uh, will be in open position so we have a valve overlap of about uh, 95 degrees at this section and at BDZ near BDZ and also at TDC we have 10 degrees of a uh, valve overlap this is the valve overlapping period during this period both inlet and exhaust valves will be in open position um, and also the inlet period is about 230 degree of rotation of the crankshaft and the exhaust period is about 235 degree uh, rotation of the crankshaft uh, so, I, so I think uh, I hope that you understand how a, a valve uh, opening and closing is happening according to a valve timing diagram uh, thank you